I've been here writing a couple of times with my sometime writing partner, Brian Adams, but it's the first tour for me. It's a, it's a great unknown. But we've written all over. We've written in Canada, in England, in France, in Jamaica, in Germany, everywhere. Who's Brian Adams? So yeah. how many songs have you written with Brian Adams? Probably 30. What? 30, 35 songs with him, yeah, at least. You have written lots of songs for lots of people, right? I mean... I have. Normally, you know, I write by myself. I'm not a frequent co-writer. It's not, it, it's not something I find easy to do. Um, and I've never really... I don't really consider that I actually write for other artists in the sense that I sit down and I think, oh, this would be good for, you know, Bonnie Raitt or whoever. Uh, it's more that um, I've been fortunate enough to have other artists find my songs and record them. And there's some songs that, that have been placed with our other artists that really I feel like they were meant to be with that artist. Like Independence Day is a great example. Martina McBride, I believe she was the perfect artist for that song. So I never really aspired to be a songwriter for other artists, but it just when I moved to Nashville, that sort of just happened and I felt like it was uh, it took me longer to get a record deal as an artist but it was a good way to sort of establish my credibility and to, to be able to earn the way you know earn the right to sing my own songs to um, to have people say well well don't you just want to stay home and write songs and go to your mailbox and collect nice checks and you know and I, I that's not who I am you know I love being on the road and I love I think the moment when you perform music is the most, uh, sort of, the least complicated moment of the whole thing. It's, it's just a very direct transaction between the artist and the audience, and I love that, and I could never give that. One of them is on a bus to St. Cloud. Right. Um, and, you know, every writer wants their newest song to be the one they feel that way about, and that's an old song. It's, I wrote it a long time ago, but it, I just have never gotten tired of singing it, and I, it also always seems to strike a chord with audiences. Um, so that one is really special to me, and I think, I think Circus Girl is also, it's another, yet again another older song, but that song feels like the most autobiographical thing I've ever done. And it's funny because when I wrote it, I wasn't thinking that at all. I was thinking it was this character that I was writing about. But, you know, over the years, as sometimes happens with songs, they, they, they become true. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they maybe didn't start out true, but they become true. And I really identify with that woman in that song. So much of it is subconscious. I mean, so much of it is, is you're, you know, you're trying to get down to a level where you're you're bringing something out that that moves you in some way, that means something to you, and and so much of the process. And I say this with recent memory because I've been writing for a new album a lot lately. So much of it is just the process is just digging down to get to that part of a song that really will move you and hopefully move someone else. So, so yeah, I think there's a lot of subconscious stuff. I mean, I've often had the experience writing songs where. I, I don't even really realize what it was about until a year or so after I've written it. I'll yeah, sing yeah. it. There's, I knew there was something that moved me about it, but there, I've really literally listened to myself sing a line when I'm playing in a show and, and think, oh my God, that's what I meant. You know, it's a, it's a quite amazing process. There's something very mystical about it. Probably because I had lived in the West for such a long time, I lived in Colorado for 17 years. I think I had um, such an affinity for that part of the world, and I wanted so badly for that record to reflect the real West, not the not the cartoon cowboys and Indians, you know, not that, but what it really felt like, what the space feels like out there, and, and all of that. That I think I, I, I identified with those songs as deeply as I do with my own. I think that that was a lot about it. And just working with Tom added a whole new level. Uh, Tom's got a gritty, 
very gritty sort of take on on life and on the world, and his writing reflects that. And it, it was a joy to make that record. And wasn't that record like completely contrary to what you did prior to it? Because I mean, in a way, you didn't really make yourself part of the natural scene, if you like. So you stayed away from this countryish thing, and then you went in and did. A Western record, a Western record, which is this, exactly. I never well, and when Tom called me with the, it was his idea to make the record, and when he called me and said he wanted to make a record about the West, I said, "I'm not a cowgirl. I'm not a. I, that's not who I am. I'm from New York, for God's sake, you know." But he started. I trust him artistically, first of all, and second of all, he started to describe what he envisioned this record being like and he started naming songs and he started talking about writers like Bob Dylan and Towns Van Zandt and uh, I started to get the picture that, that the, the record that he was talking about really described the geographical place and the beauty of it and the loneliness of it and, the, and, and as we went through the songs and picked out songs various themes started to emerge, themes that really, really intrigued me. I mean, one of the f big themes in that album is is sort of death and reincarnation. It's not what you find, you know, on the, on the afternoon cowboy matinee, shoot him up, you know, it's not the same thing at all. So, so I started to see his vision for that record. And I'm very excited to see Berlin and hopefully we'll have a little bit of time. We are, we are kind of just screaming through Germany. It's pretty, pretty crazy tour. But you would come back? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Okay. Look forward to seeing you then again. Thank yeah. you. <laughs>